Hello students, very warm welcome once again in my online classroom, the Excellence Learner. And today, we are here to discuss a poem, A Slumber Did My Spirit Seal. A Slumber Did My Spirit Seal is the title of the poem and the composer of the poem is William Wordsworth. Here's Mr. William Wordsworth, the composer of this poem, A Splendor Did My Spirit Seal. A Splendor Did My Spirit Seal. Okay? So, first of all, before starting the poem, let us know something about Wordsworth. You know, students, Wordsworth is a well-known poet during the Romantic Revival. Romantic Revival was the phase of English poetry in English literature where the poet started to depict the beauty of nature with the help of their words. And Wordsworth, along with his colleague, whose name was Clarice, was the pioneer poet of this particular phase of English literature. So Wordsworth is also known as the poet of nature okay uh, again i say before starting and entering actually into the poem the realm of wordsworth i request you people students who do not subscribe my channel till now please go ahead subscribe it so that i can put my video updated between fact time to time and it will definitely help you to enhance your knowledge and right okay so without losing a moment i must enter into the poem the poem you see has only two stanzas this stanza has four lines right and it has been written in the form of blad. You know, blad is a type of poem where poet narrates a story. So it is a very brief story, having just four plus four, eight lines, right? But within this very narrow space, within this eight line volley, the poet has depicted a large picture. His canvas is really very large, right? I will try my best for you people to understand the poem very easily. So first of all, try to understand the meaning of this word slumber. Do you know the meaning of slumber? This word slumber I am talking about. This word slumber that means a type of dream a type of dream right slumber it is a type of dream so the poet says a slumber a dream that sealed means put his spirit into lock right he totally influence under the dream so he says a slumber did my spirit seal a slumber a dream that totally sealed totally locked my spirit right so let us start the poem a slumber did my spirit seal i had no human fears she seemed a thing that could not feel the touch of earthly ear. Fine. So before starting the poem exactly and actually, let us discuss some background of this poem. It is believed that this poem was composed when Mr. Wordsworth was in Germany along with his companion and daughter Dorothy. Sorry, sister Dorothy, right? 
so he was in germany and that time he composed five poem that was totally dedicated to lucy lucy was a very beautiful girl critics and uh, literally historians try to find out actually who was lucy but they fell exactly to get the information about lucy someone says lucy was his mother someone says that lucy was sister dorothy but some has also opinion that lucy was just a imaginary girl of wordsworth whatever the fact may be here he is telling about lucy right and it is the first and only poem in the series of lucy where the poet has not mentioned the name exactly only given as a hint so that we can understand and before starting the explanation we should find out the rhyming skill rhyming scheme of this poem here it is a b a b we find that first and fourth line last word last tone is repeating similarly the second to the fourth so the rhyming scale of this poem is a b a b correct okay let us start now the explanation a slumber did my spirit see the the heading of the poem starts with the poem again poet says that a dream totally locked his spirit seal his spirit he had no human fear because sorry he was fearless he has no any type of fear because he was sure that she seemed a thing that could not feel the touch of earthly ear here she she indicates about lucy the poet was sure that the beauty of lucy will not be touched by any earthly thing the fact is that anything that caught away in during course of the time fine to fill the means poet wants to say that this philosophy this rule this law was not applicable with the beauty of lucy because he never seen any changing changing in the negative way in the beauty of her lucy she seemed that could not feel the touch of earthly ear she was free from any types of earthly thing she was metaphysical she was beyond the surroundings it was the thinking of the poet regarding the beauty of the beautiful girl that's name was lucy right now we must enter into the second stanza and the last stanza of the poem but sorry to say the second stanza starts very shockable line no motion has she now no force she neither hears nor sees roll round in earth diurnal course with rocks and stones and trees in the very first stanza the poet was sure that the beauty of lucy cannot be damaged cannot be touched by any earthly thing but oh, oh my god in the very second stanza he starts 
with very sockable line he says that now see she means lucy is motionless she has no motion again he emphatically says she has no force so she has become motionless and forceless she neither hear nor see she has lost the capability and capacity of hearing and vision these two lines vividly depicts indicates that lucy is no more now she has lost her life she is dead because there is no motion in her body there is no force in her body and more neither see, he see nor he can hear so these lines are a testimonial line to say that lucy is no more but poet has so attachment with lucy and her beauty that he never dare to say in very direct line that lucy is no more he is trying to put this thing before us with the help of some other imagination and word he feels himself unable to declare that lucy is no more that's why he is showing he is throwing some words towards us that could indicate that lucy is no more again he say roar round in earth dunial pose we know after the death definitely lucy was buried so after the after the burial she is mixed with earth during earth and now along with the revolution and rotation of earth she is also rolling on rolling on right she has become the part of the earth become the part of nature with rocks and stones and tree here rocks and stones both are the synonym to each other but giving two different words of same meaning poet wants to say that rock the rock of the earth the upper layer of earth is called rock so is with rock and a stone after burial the stone is being installed with the memory of for the memory of the person who passed away so he says that with rock and stones and trees she is rolling she is moving with the pace of the earth right again i try to wrap up the entire poem in some total so a slumber did in a dream a, a dream has totally locked the spirit of the poet the slumber was that he was in dream he was thinking that he was dreaming that no one can touch the beauty of her lucy lucy is untouchable his beauty cannot be degraded at any cost any more but oh my god this was not true dream is dream it is far from reality and the truth is that lucy has lost her life she is no more she is dead she has lost his beauty totally and she has been buried now with earth she is moving around around and around right i believe you will go i believe this explanation will definitely help you out to find the internal meaning of this beautiful poem by the great poet william wordsworth right again i request just to go ahead subscribe my channel share and do not forget to write the comment on the giving comment box 
This explanation will also help you to answer the questions of related to this poetry. Thanks. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.